key and collect takeaways for arrhythmias and EKGs. These grids help us measure time. Each big box represents 0.20 seconds, and each tiny box represents 0.04 seconds. When you're calculating your heart rate, make sure you're looking at a six second strip. Electrolyte abnormalities, especially with potassium and magnesium, tend to have an effect on our ECGs. Make sure you remember that hyperkalemia can result in tall peak T waves, and hypomagnesemia can result in torsades. Remember, P waves represent atrial depolarization. So if we have funny looking P waves, you probably are dealing with an atrial rhythm. In fact, these aren't P waves at all. The chaotic, wavy looking P waves that we see in atrial fibrillation are called fibrillatory waves. We treat this rhythm by looking at our ABCDs. The sawtooth looking P waves that we see in atrial flutter are called flutter waves. I know heart blocks can be challenging, but you can use this poem to help you remember the different kinds. If R is far from P, then you have a first degree. Longer, longer, longer drop, then you have a wanky block. If some P's don't go through, then you have a Mobitz 2. And if P's and Q's disagree, then you have a third degree. If you still need some more practice with EKGs, join my small group session on Thursday at 4 p.m. Central Time. See you there.